Hello, everyone. Thank you for subscribing to this webinar on data analysis in uh, the medical research field, part one, introduction and basic tests. So this is part one, which means there is a, at least a part two. Tomorrow, part two of this uh, series will take place. And we will be talking a little bit more about multivariate analysis in uh, medical research, as well as survival analysis. This webinar will be illustrated by the Excel Stat statistical software that works as an add-on to Excel. My name is Jean-Paul Malouf. I am a data science consultant at Excel Stat. I will try to be as intuitive as I can in my speech and avoid reference to mathematical formula. But anyway, you should know that the statistical tools that we use in uh, epidemiology or in medical research in general, there are so many of them. Today, we'll only see an overview of the mainstream methods that we use in this field. And we won't be able to get into the deep details of these mainstream methods. You should know that there is a download section in this webinar platform, so you can download the handouts so in PDF, as well as the data I will be using to illustrate the webinar. At the end of the webinar, there will be a Q&A session, so don't hesitate to submit your uh, questions in the chatting box. I will try to answer as many as I can at the end. Here's a small outline of what we're going to we're going to see today. I'll start with a few words on Excel stat, then an introduction and some terminology. So there are some words I will be using quite often, such as a variable or qualitative variable or quantitative variable. We'll see in this webinar that we'll be mainly focusing on the study of how a set of variables which we call risk factors, for instance, or independent variables, will influence a clinical outcome, which we'll call dependent variables. And these variables can be either quantitative or qualitative. We will see many possible situations today. We'll see how to investigate the effect of a qualitative variable on a quantitative clinical outcome, how to investigate the effect of a qualitative variable on a qualitative outcome, and at last, quantitative versus quantitative. Okay, but first, let me tell you a little bit about ExcelStat. ExcelStat is a statistical software that works as an add-on to Excel on PC and on Mac. It's also available for Excel 365 and Google Sheets, so you can also use it on the cloud. ExcelStat in a few numbers holds more than 220 statistical features it has more than 150K users worldwide, more than 25 employees at your service, 300K monthly visits on the website, and the software is available in seven languages and has offices in three different time zones, so America, Europe, and Japan. The software is downloaded 10K times every month. The software is developed by the Adinsoft company, which is hosted in the Data Factory. The Data Factory is a private laboratory dedicated to, to data science, which is located in uh, Bordeaux in France. It holds more than five expert companies, including Adinsoft, and it organizes more than 25 workshops, events, and training every year around data science. Excelstat is organized in eight different solutions to meet your specific needs. So there are generalist solutions, which are basic, basic plus, and premium. Basic includes tools, statistical tools to explore, visualize, and model your data in one single interface. Then basic plus has all of the basic features plus essential machine learning tools for prediction. Premium includes the complete 220 Excel stat features. Between basic plus and premium, you have intermediate solutions. You can find intermediate solutions such as sensory, life sciences, marketing, forecasting, and quality. And these solutions are field oriented. For instance, sensory for sensometricians. And maybe for you, the most appropriate solution would be life sciences for the analysis of medical and biological data. Anyway, what we will see today, the tools we're going to see today are included in all Excel stat solutions, even the basic solution. But what you're going to see tomorrow in uh, the 
second part of the webinar is partly part of all the solutions. Otherwise, there are a few tools which are only part of life sciences and premium. So this is for tomorrow's webinar. But for today, all the tools we are going to see are part of all solutions. There are more than 220 tutorials associated to downloadable data sets available at the Excelsat website. So you should know that every feature in Excelsat has its own dedicated tutorial online. If you're ever lost in using this or that feature, you have a step-by-step -step tutorial that guides you through the configuration of the dialog box and the interpretation of the results with an intuitive explanation of how the feature works. We also develop a YouTube channel, which is called Stat Cafe, uh, which produces, shows you um, short videos, each video dedicated to a specific statistical feature, so with short explanations and applications using Excel Stat. You can access the channel by clicking on your PDF right here. Excelsat also holds a um, page with free webinar recordings. So a few months ago, we ran webinars on uh, general statistics, so not field-oriented. So we there are five webinars on general statistics, such as describing data, exploring and clustering data, statistical testing, modeling variance, and there's a sixth one also, machine learning and prediction. So if you're ever interested in basic statistics, I would recommend checking these webinars. You can also access this page by clicking on the PDF. And also you should know that the webinars on medical research will be accessible as well on this page. So within two weeks, you will access the recording of the current webinar by clicking on this link here. The upcoming webinar, so tomorrow's webinar, is accessible for registration through this button. So if you're ever interested, don't hesitate to register by clicking here, okay? Now let us get into the details of this webinar. 